today we will see one more application of matrices already we completed using matrices we can solve a system of linear equations by using matrices we can find out the consistency of the system of linear equations consistency means whether there will be solution or not if a system of equations got the solutions then it is called consistent if there is no solution it is called inconsistent now we will see a theorem rauch capelli theorem so here there is a system of linear equations in three variables x y z and the three equations it can be written in a matrix form so this is the coefficient matrix a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 this is the coefficient matrix and unknowns x y z is equal to b1 b2 b3 the constants so this can be written as ax is equal to b in matrix form ax is equal to b then a is the coefficient matrix then this is the augmented matrix to the coefficient matrix you include this constants this is the coefficient matrix to that you add this constants b1 b2 b3 after that this is called augmented matrix this is the coefficient matrix this is the augmented matrix so you know what is the meaning of a rank of a matrix so you find the rank of the coefficient matrix and you find the rank of the augmented matrix suppose both are equal rank of the coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of the augmented matrix then the system of equations will be consistent that means there will be solution now there are three cases suppose the rank of a is not equal to the rank of augmented matrix then it is inconsistent if the rank of coefficient matrix is not equal to the rank of the augmented matrix it is inconsistent suppose the rank of the coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of the augmented matrix it is also equal to the number of unknowns then it will have a unique solution then in this case also rank of coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of augmented matrix but it is lesser than the number of unknowns in that case also there will be solution it is system will be consistent but uh, there will be infinitely many solutions now let us solve this problem using rank method so we are going to use rauchy capelli theorem here there is a system of linear equation there are four equations 1 2 3 four equations are there but three um, variables x y z or three unknowns in this method number of equations need not be equal to number of uh, unknowns here three unknowns are there but four equations are there now the given system of linear equations can be written like this in the matrix form coefficient matrix this is a coefficient matrix 1 2 minus 1 3 minus 1 2 1 2 3 4 1 1 1 then this 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 is the uh, variables or unknowns x y z now constants 3 1 3 in the last equation constant is given this side so this plus 1 is to be taken to that side so it is minus 1 now this is the coefficient matrix a and this is the unknown matrix x is equal to b ax is equal to b now this is the augmented matrix with the coefficient matrix you combine the constants now this is the coefficient matrix you combine the constants so you are getting augmented matrix and by a sequence of elementary transformation this is to be confirm uh, converted into row echelon form 
Now, here 1. Below that, it should be 0 here. So, second row, you subtract 3 times of the first row. See, because here it is 3. So, if you multiply this with the 3, 1 into 3, 3. This 3 minus 3, it will be 0. So, you multiply all the elements of the first row by 3 and subtract from this. So, you will get this row. Similarly, here it is to be 0. Here 1. The here also 1. So, from this, if you are subtracting this, here it will become 0. So, from third row, you subtract the elements of the first row. So, you will get this. Similarly, here it is to be 0. So, from 1, so this is also 1. So, fourth row, you subtract the elements of the first row. You will get this. Next, here you can see a negative number. Here, it should be a positive number. So, you multiply by minus 1. So, you will get this. Similarly, this you multiply by minus 1, third row. Third row you minus, multiply by minus 1. Similarly, fourth row also you multiply by minus 1. So, all the signs will change. See, minus 7 will become plus 7. Plus 5 will become minus 5. Minus 8 will become plus 8. Similarly, sign will change. Next, here 1, 0, 0. Next, here first non-zero number is 7. Below that, here it should be 0. So, here to make... 0, this elementary operation is to be done. See here 7, here 4. So, here it is to be 0. So, multiply elements of the third row by 7. And this you multiply by 4 and subtract. So, if you are multiplying this third row by 7. So, 4 into 7, 28. Here, you are multiplying by 4. 7 into 4, 28. So, it will be 28 minus 28, so it will be 0 here. Similarly, the other elements also. Elements of the third row, you multiply by 7. Second row, you multiply by 4 and then subtract. So, you will get this. Similarly, here, fourth row. Here also it is to be 0. Here you can see 7, here you can see 3. So, fourth row, you multiply by 7. So, 3 into 7, 21. Then, second row you multiply by 3. 7 into 3, 21. So, 21 minus 21, 0. So, like that, other elements also. You multiply the elements of the fourth row by 7, third row by 3 and then subtract. So, you will get this. After that, here, now 1, 0, 0, 0. Next, 7, 0, 0. Next, here, negative number. So, you divide it by minus 8. So, when you divide it by minus 8, so it will become 1. Minus 8 divided by minus 8, it will become 1. Minus 32 divided by minus 8, so it will be 4. Oh, 1, 4. Next, here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0. Next, 1. Below that, it should be 0. So, fourth row, you subtract the third row. So, fourth row you subtract to this third row. So, 1 minus 1. So, it will be 0. 4 minus 4, it will be 0. Now, by a sequence of elementary transformation, the augmented matrix is converted into row echelon form.